Here we see the procedure for collecting embryos. Transfer flies from vials into the tubes of a five-barreled collection chamber, then put a grape agar plate on top of the chamber and allow the flies to lay eggs for a few hours. When the embryos are at the right stage, transfer them from the grape agar plate to double-stick tape with a paintbrush. Now roll the embryos out of their chorions and line them up on an agar block with their ventral sides up. In the middle we see a slide with a rectangle of wax and a piece of double stick tape at one end. Invert the double stick tape over the block with the lined up embryos and touch it to the embryos to transfer them to the slide. They will now be dorsal side up. Immediately add PBS to the area of the slide enclosed by the wax rectangle so as to cover the embryos. The top shows a side view of the slide and the bottom shows a top view. Cut a slit along the vitellin membrane with a glass dissecting needle Poke the embryos in the brain region, lift them up, and move them into rows on the glass. Then dissect each embryo to make a fillet. At the end of the procedure, you will have a slide with rows of filleted embryos. It is now ready to fix. Hi, I'm Peter Lee, a postdoc in the Kaizen lab in the uh, Division of Biology at Caltech. Hi, I'm Ashley Wright, a Caltech graduate student in Kaizen lab. I'm Kai Zinn, a professor at Caltech, and my research group works on the development of the nervous system in fruit flies. Today we will show you a procedure for dissecting live uh, Drosophila embryos. We've used these methods to search for orphan receptor ligands. We do this by screening collections of lines overexpressing cell surface proteins by live staining of embryos with receptor fusion proteins.